My name is Bruce McDonald. I was born in Vancouver uh, in the 1940s. Uh, actually, I was born on the west side of Vancouver, and uh, I now live on the east side. I lived on the east side for about 25 years. I'm a historian. I wrote this book on the history of Vancouver, which is fairly well known. It took me 10,000 hours of work. Um, and so this issue of the boundaries for the riding of Mount Pleasant. I'll just point out that historically, Vancouver started right here at Gastown. And then when the train arrived, the city started to grow and you got the west end developing here and the east end on the east side. Then by about 1900, uh, Mount Pleasant had appeared. This is in the, grew in the 1890s. So the city spread south. So as it went south across Falls Creek, it actually, Main Street is two blocks to the east because this is the natural point to put a bridge across. So this became the Main Street. But the zero point of the 100 block, I'll just point out, it, it, it fit perfectly into this chunk of land. Uh, and it was designed, you can see, around that zero point of the 100 block. And by the way, the fellow that designed this street system was Israel Powell. And it, he did it as a map of Canada with Ontario Street in the middle uh, representing Central Canada, if you like. And then all the streets west of, of Ontario Street were the provinces west of Ontario, like Manitoba, British Columbia, uh, and now we have Alberta Street as well, which came later. But, and the, now going east of Ontario, you have Quebec Street, uh, Nova Scotia Street, or Scotia Street, New Brunswick Street, or New Brunswick Street, and Prince Edward, in other words, Prince Edward Island Street. <coughs> so it is a map of Canada. Where we are right here, is Main Street here, Kingsway coming in at an angle, butting into Main Street, and then Broadway coming across this way. This triangular block is being retained as this old historic part of Mount Pleasant. Two of the buildings across the street are the oldest buildings in Vancouver outside of Gastown. This is the oldest business building, the Nirvana Restaurant, and then the, the Poncier House just behind the Gold Ballet, which is you could argue it's the oldest single family dwelling in Vancouver, 18, I think 88 or 87. Um, it, pretty well the oldest house in the whole city. Now that, most people don't know this, but this is because this is a very old part of Vancouver. And what it means is, when you have a very old part of a city is, it tends to deteriorate ahead of all the other parts of the city. So, and what that means is, you get rundown buildings with cheap rent. And you can also have buildings that have old landlords who have their mortgages paid off and they don't need a lot of income necessarily. So they'll rent their buildings out to young people with good ideas. And so you got these interesting uh, types of businesses, like for example, John's, John's Duke boxes right across the street. Anti-social, which is a skateboarding um, business. So you can see now in this coffee shop here, you can see what they tend to cater to here is young, single people uh, that are artists, filmmakers, and it's sort of the opposite of what you get in most of the rest of Vancouver, which is families. Families and single family dwellings. Here you have older apartment buildings, cheap rent, young people. So this is the same as sort of commercial drive is, in a similar way. And that's sort of an East End, more of an East End thing almost. This part of Vancouver is part of that older part of Vancouver with cheaper rents and young creative people who maybe are smart and they've decided they want to do their own thing and not get a job in the corporate world, which they could do, they're smart enough to do it, but they make the choice to be in places like this. And so this is this, this part of, of uh, Vancouver belongs in with the downtown east side and, and commercial drive and the east side it just does. My name is Melanie Talkington. I'm corseteer and owner of Lace and Brace Atelier at 16th and Main. The reason I chose Main Street is because of the local designer feel and all the antique shops were very historically based um, company and it's nice to be in historic area. And then being able to find a reasonably priced rent on Main Street compared to anything west of the city um, for somebody who's starting in business. It was a great place to start, which I think is why you see a lot of 
um, young designers and small locally made, locally crafted shops along Main Street as well. To hear that we would be grouped with Vancouver Granville, we're nowhere near Granville Street, so that doesn't seem to make any sense. And I feel that there's a lot of East Van pride um, because the East to West division happens just before Main Street, so Main Street is considered part of East Van, and to move that onto the west side or the west end of town, it just doesn't make any sense for the riding. We all, as a local community, have worked really hard to create this community um, at this price range, and to be grouped into the west part of town doesn't really make any sense for, for what we all stand for as local businesses. My name is David Corkle. I am the owner of Wyona Apartments. I've owned the building since 1978, and it was cheap in 1978. It's not my first building but, uh, in Vancouver, but uh, I enjoy this building. I enjoy my tenants, and uh, I don't know what else I could say to this, but uh, I enjoy working on a 100-year-old building. It's a pain, but it's fun, you know. I'm retired, and I'm an old plumber. I, I don't like to change the electoral like that. Uh, keep Main Street where it is. This is a, a, a class of people that it's different than uh, a Granville area. Uh, Granville Street is uh, too high end for shopping, unless you got lots of money. Here in Main Street is a, a middle class, a little, little bit lower. Not, I would say middle class, but but it, it's an enjoyable area to live in, and, and I don't want to be controlled by people there who never come to this end of the world. You know, this is not my area. I may own the building, but I'm still lower class. <laughs> you know, but uh, I enjoy doing that. You know, I enjoy working with people uh, with the neighborhood, uh, uh, closing the streets off. Uh, like the parking is uh, high, but uh, we find it. You know, but uh, I it's busier area, but it's it, it, it's just. Uh, culture is it's just great. I mean, I, I can't, it's hard to explain. You have to live here to, to do that, you know. My name is Kalen Griffiths, and I am a 10 year <laughs> resident of the Vancouver East riding. You'll create a new minority by dividing people uh, along Main Street who are have more in common with those east of here by lumping them together with people who live west of here. And that's not to say these are irreconcilable differences, it's to say that uh, rather than create differences, we should be uh, uh, creating electoral uh, districts that uh, have more commonality between all uh, residents than have uh, and sort of artificially imposed uh, difference between those people. So uh, I'm not saying these uh, people east and west are alien to one another. I'm just saying there's more commonality east of here with those people. My name is John Boychuk and I'm one of the owners of Banana Tans, a vested partner in this neighborhood and really providing a service to this, this great area that we define as the east portion of Vancouver. It doesn't make sense for tearing one very vital part of a community and a very important growth part of what's happening on the east side of Vancouver and associating it with a whole other a whole other district basically. We are on the east side of Vancouver as it's been described for many years and the way that the boundaries have been for many years to, to all of a sudden to group us in with everybody that is a part of the west. That's great that we have that representation but it ends up being too fractured and not being fair representation. If you look at where the center line is with Granville Street, with Granville Street being that center line, how far east and west do you want to go in association? I find that I have very little as a business district to, to do with, say for instance, Granville Street. I'm much closer to what's happening on Commercial Drive, to the types of business, to the types of consumers, to the types of dwellings that are around. That's more common here on the east side than it is in comparison to the west or downtown. Hi, my name is Christy. I'm the owner of East Vanity Parlor in Mount Pleasant. We opened about five years ago. Wanted to open an old school beauty parlor where my friends and I could get our hair done that wasn't sterile or stuffy, something really casual, very gritty. East Van. I definitely think that 
when you live in East Van, you think of yourself as coming from the wrong side of the tracks. Um, it's grittier, it's more artistic, there's more rawness here. That's why I live here, that's why I opened my salon here. It definitely wouldn't fit in to West Van. Not that West Van isn't great, all of Vancouver is wonderful, but this definitely has a more kind of lowbrow, behind the scenes underground um, feel to it. I think the most moving thing that I've seen is all the people going out to fight yeah. against yeah. high rises in this neighborhood. I think high rises would really change this neighborhood and there's not a lot of places in Vancouver where you would put up a high rise and people would kick up a fuss and say, that's not us, that's not going to happen here, whereas people here have been very active in that. I hear about it every day, we talk about it all day in here. That they do that to us, <laughs> which is uh, it's nice to see people concerned about something like that in their neighborhood. Most people just kind of let things slide, let the city do whatever they want to do. And here they're really not standing for it. Who knows? We'll probably get squashed out like we do, but uh, it's nice to see that heart and spirit anyway. My name is Robert McNutt. I moved to Main Street in September of 1994. I feel good enough about the area that I've worked tirelessly to restore the uh, apartment I live in, inside, the outside. I care enough about my neighborhood that I spent uh, five years on the BIA um, working and trying to have my neighborhood clean and respectable for all that came, uh, painting out graffiti on my own time, hollering and screaming at City Hall to uh, uh, attend to uh, graffiti and garbage uh, and those type of uh, concerns that I have for this neighborhood because it's my neighborhood but it also has to be uh, everybody else's neighborhood with a feeling of safety and security. If you had to pick and choose and uh, say what this neighborhood is similar to it, you, you could say it's more like East Van because of the, uh, the, small, the small nature of the businesses and the more, uh, more ethnic um, background of the people who are running their businesses here. My name is Ray Lynn and our company's name is Alley Mary's. It's a Filipino store here on Main Street and on the corner of Main and 11th. We opened back in 2000. For the past 13 years we've actually, um, I guess well being a, a Filipino store, um, unless you're Filipino it's not something that you would probably walk into but over the past few years um, we've had a whole diversity of nationalities that has been here already so um, from Caucasians to all different types of Asians and uh, different cultures now so they're learning more about the Filipino uh, products and you know its history itself. <laughs> I like the fact that Main Street has a diversity of different cultures, different nationalities, um, and it's just, it's kind of, uh, kind, it can kind of remind you of home, back home, because everything is so close together, like you can, you know, just go down the street, there's a grocery store there, across the street there's a school, there's a church, so um, for us it, it's, it's a homey type feeling with being on Main Street. My name is Michael Premont and I've lived uh, just one block, half a block actually, east of Main Street for the past year. I grew up in a city. I grew up in New York City. And uh, uh, I love Vancouver, and I love the Main Street area, particularly. Um, from here you can walk to the whole city. To, you can walk to the west side if you want. You know, there may, may be some time when you want to chill out and go to the west side. but. Um, it's a walkable place, um, and the west side seems to be, the west side is laid out as a walkable there? place, but okay, people yeah. don't walk. It sounds as if it's being taken into a foster home. <laughs> it's a uh, foster family. It's a it's a different kind of environment here. It's, it's almost like I don't want to say two different cultures. That'd be too much, but two sides of the same culture. As a riding, they don't belong together. I, I think Main Street is a vibrant part of the more vibrant East Side. My name's Janet Wu, and I have been working for Libby Davies, the Member of Parliament for Vancouver East, as her constituency assistant for 15 years since she was first elected back in 
June 1997. And we've always been at our constituency office at 2412 Main. The riding of East Van um, is an incredibly diverse riding. There are many, many kinds of people here, uh, young and old immigrants, people who were born here. We have everyone from people who have no education, people who are homeless, to people who own fantastic million dollar homes. I think you will see a lot of tolerance, and not only tolerance, but acceptance of that diversity. Uh, people here really embrace the East Van spirit. Working in this office, I can say that we deal a lot with immigrants, and they um, often struggle very, very hard to um, settle into Canada. They are immigrants or they are refugees. They come here often alone while they're waiting for family members from overseas. So they struggle so hard to try to make a life here, to prepare for their family members. They work hard, one, two, often three jobs. They're alone, trying to learn English, trying to learn a new neighborhood. And people here help each other out. And it's really, really um, positive to see that kind of energy and acceptance. We love this neighborhood. It really is not just a place, it's a state of mind, people who love East Van. And people who are true East Vanners will know that Main Street is East Van. Cal Wilkes. Garrett Moen. Colin Conkin. Real actors. <laughs>